Hello and welcome to this overview of Data Site Diligence. In this video, we'll upload a document, set permissions, invite a user, and launch our project. The first place we want to go is the Trackers tab. We can create a tracker from scratch, copy one from another project, or upload an existing checklist. We can create a linked file room from a correctly formatted tracker. When the tracker has column types, request number, and request item, we can make a linked folder structure in the Documents tab. Using the Documents column, we can upload files to the Documents tab. We can either drag and drop files and folders or click Browse to find our content. For this example, let's keep the default publishing and permissions settings. Let's go to the Documents tab to see how they're linked. Each project has a dedicated shareable email address for people who only need to send in a few documents, providing an easy way for them to contribute without inviting them into a data room. In the Documents tab, we can upload items, add folders, move files around, and more. The index list gives us a top-level report of our project that can be filtered and exported. Next, let's set permissions for groups of users called roles. Users invited to our project are required to belong to one role. In this example, this role can only download watermarked PDF versions of documents. Next, let's create content access for this role. We can choose if we want users in this role to be able to view, print, download, or manage individual documents, folders, and even entire file rooms. We can view assigned users in each role and see our project from their point of view. Next, let's invite a user to our project. Enter their email address, then select their classification and their required role. Invitations can be prepared in advance and saved as a draft to send later. Let's click Send Invite so they can start uploading. Users can also belong to optional analytics teams, which have a dual purpose, permissions and trackers, and groupings in analytics. And finally, the Settings tab helps you manage your project's inbox, determine its look and feel, launch your project, make an archive, and other project settings. If there are any drafted invitations when launching a project, they can be sent out now. And that's it for this top-level overview of data site diligence. If you have any questions, contact us. We're more than happy to help. Thank you for watching.